Hey, Model Y owners, you're going to love these new products for the back of the cargo bay area. Everyone knows we have the great floor mats that cover the bottom. Now we've got side panel protection. Now these fit in just like this. It protects all of the side carpeted areas in the Model Y. So we're going to show you in this older one where there's plastic on the top, carpet on the bottom. But first we're going to install it here. Uh, then we've got a new product for the lift gate. So this is right here, the lift gate protection pad. This plastic is going to Velcro attach right to the carpeted area here. So again, any moving objects inside, nothing's going to get dirt or stains on the carpeting. Um, spring's coming, people go buy flowers, they plant things, and they use their cargo area, and this is going to really help protect it. So we recommend our cargo mats for the bottom and these pieces for the side, and we're going to get right into the installation now. All right, now we're going to start with the driver's side panel, and uh, notice on the back of it, there's all this Velcro loop. So the Velcro loop here on the top attaches to the carpet, and the spikes go down inside, which we're going to explain right now. So we like to remove the sub-trunk panels, or at least get them loose and out of the way. Uh, remember, there's two panels in the Model Y, and um, just lift them up like this and get them out of the way while we're installing it or we're installing it. And what you're going to notice is this is the uh, driver's side. It fits down in the cargo pocket area. So just put it right in like this. And again, it sits nice and flush. So the Velcro is going to grab, but watch how nicely it's going to fit the line here. So we're going to put it down just like this. Just press it on. Uh, take this rubber seal. Just roll it back, cover it up, and look at how nice it fits. It fits very nice, very OEM-like. And now we're going to keep it flexible here. Try to do it from hanging over. And again, same thing. We're just trying to get these spikes down inside or in the gaps here for the sub-trunk uh, pan. And push this down in place. Press it in, press it all the way back. So a little bit of pressure. And again, this is your lineup point. This is this spike here. Push this down, 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 down. And look at that. It's all protected. Now you've got full plastic side pockets in the back. And uh, then we'll jump over to the other side and then we want to show you what it looks like when it's all done. So we'll switch over here. Same thing. You're lining up the spike here at the gap point for the sub trunk panel. And we're lining this all up. So the only place the Velcro is is on the top. So notice how we're putting in the bottom first, putting it all in like this. And again, I like to start on this side. So pushing this all the way in and then right up against the plastic and just below it. So obviously we don't want to go on top of it. This fits right below there all the way across here and don't be afraid to pull it up and move it it's only held on by the hook and loop system so here you'll notice this part goes here right down in that slot and this one and this one and now press 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 all right look at that wasn't that easy now we're going to put the panels in, so keep going, and uh, we'll put the sub-trunk panel in the front sub-trunk panel first, and the rear sub-trunk panel. There you go. So take a look at it. Now we've got plastic all the way up, protecting everything in the back, no carpet to get dirty or stain. And on this side, same thing fits great everything is just protecting the carpet so uh, we hope everyone likes this new product it's available now we're going to get some pictures before and after and then we're going to go do the same installation in a new 2023 where this is all carpeted so this is plastic and all this is plastic in non 23s and it's all carpeted in new 23s up to here so anyway, I hope that makes sense, and let's get in the other car right now.
Okay, now also, we forgot to mention, if you want to remove it for any reason, maybe you're having your carpets cleaned, uh, or you want to take it out, you don't want it in there in the winter time, uh, but that's what it'll protect the most. Look how easy this removes. Without taking the sub trunk mats out, just pull it like this and pull it straight up. It completely comes out like that quick. So it's a great product, nice matching ABS plastic, texturized, just like the Tesla OEM. Thanks again for watching, and now we're going over to the other car. Okay, now we're in the 2023 Austin, Texas built Model Y. Fully carpeted side panels all the way up to the parcel shelf uh, sliding rail. Now the pockets are slightly different inside of here. The, the amount of room, this lip is different, but we still have a real nice fitment, so we want you to see it firsthand in case you've got a brand new 2023. Now, will it be different in a Fremont built car? We believe it'll fit just like it does in the older version. So here's what you do. Start with this piece, slide the tooth down in there for alignment, and then this goes in. Now, we have to push it down securely. We gotta push it forward much as possible and get the velcro to engage on the top now we're in this pocket here same thing we're gonna we're gonna pull the velcro off where it might have grabbed too early go all the way around with the velcro grab and then now we're gonna push it a little bit and really work on it to get the fit in here so we're forcing it back like this we're trying to cover the whole perimeter and trying to get it to come out here flat We want a good fitment. Now we're going to put this piece down in here underneath. See if we can get it squared up nicely. So we tuck the rubber panel in. And then we push it back some more. So that, again, the only difference is dimensionally is right up at the top of here. And again, this is the Austin built 2023. And the only area we're wishing we could get a little better fitment is right here. So we're going to try to push it this way a little bit. And then push it upward. And then all the way down. And we'll close this up, make some adjustments. And let's try the driver's side while we're at it to see if there's any dimensional differences. So you obviously can see the pockets are somewhat different um let's put it right in here so start with the tooth as we call it and you can see all the tabs are the same everything is cut out the same with the carpet kit which is installed in here okay i'm gonna go like this and push it on so that's secure so now it's just this pocket here, down, back. So we're trying to push it all the way in the perimeter and then tuck this underneath. And once we do that, the Velcro will engage. All right, so Velcro is all engaged, not interfering with the 12 volt socket. And if it's great, let's adjust this a little bit. Then we're gonna put the sub trunk panels back in. All right. And now we'll throw the panels in. And again, we'll try to explain the differences one more time. It's just basically, you have a fully carpeted side panels versus the non fully carpeted. And the Velcro grabbing here, add a little pressure. Put the back one in first. This piece of carpet is over. All right, brand new car, 40 miles on it. Now all their side panels are protected. Um, we also have pockets for the corners. 
and uh, again, things sliding around, spilling, damaging, and now you've added a nice ABS plastic side pockets to the side. So it fits all model through, uh, all model wise. The only area you gotta do a little finagling is here. Just getting this to engage and pushing back in the pocket. But I think most of are gonna buy this that already have the plastic up here. So anyway, we're just trying to make it fit all the cars. Thanks again for watching. And this will be one piece and the upper panel piece here will be a second item. Thanks again, it's RPM Tesla. And this is our Model Y side panel protection kit.